Okay, hopefully this is going to work. There we are. So tonight we're doing it um, a little bit different because it's such a large transfer and a large board that we're working with. Um, I can't really do the overhead like I normally would. Oh, for gosh sakes. I have had nothing but problems with Facebook today. Um, make sure you say hello when you come in so that I know you're here. And I'm just going to share that to my news feed. I wonder if there's any way you can share it to... No. I was just thinking I could share it to Instagram. But that's okay. All right. So, you guys have a horrible view. I'm going to turn this light on too, I think, just to get some more light in here. Okay, make sure you say hello when you come in. Hey, Anita. And if you're watching this on replay, comment hashtag replay. I have been working down here all day trying to organize. I've got uh, an order for five t-shirts uh, for people that are having birthdays during the quarantine. Um, so I'm doing quarantine birthday t-shirts. Should be interesting. I am just writing on the back. I've already cut up uh, my transfer. And I'm just writing on the back because the back is a paper side and the side that the uh, transfer goes on is a shiny um, side. So this is, it, does, it won't stick. The transfer won't stick to this. But if you put it back on the wrong side, it will stick to it. It's like paper and it'll ruin your transfer. So I'm just going to do this you guys had a good day hey Carol hey Sam hey Lysandra glad you guys could join me now this one has no number so we're gonna say oh my goodness This is going to be a number one. And this is the chocolate. So some of the pieces I already um, cut out in the foam core uh, because it takes a little bit. Oh no. I wonder if it's okay I I don't know I think it might be Facebook or if you go out and come back in again because on my screen it looks okay so maybe it's your um, your video Lysandra Try and go out and come back in again. Okay, so what I did, I took some tracing paper. Okay, so Lysander, it must be yours because nobody else is having a problem with it. So go out and come back in again. Thanks, you guys. Oh, good. Okay, so what I did is... I put, this is the piece here, I put a piece of tracing paper over the transfer. Now there's 
multiple ways you can do this and I'm going to show you a couple different ways tonight. Um, and then I used my marker and I just traced around the outside of where the transfer actually is. Um, so that's one way of doing it. We're going to cut this out now and I'm using an X-Acto knife. So just be really careful doing this and you just follow along using your paper template all the way and be really, really careful because these things are sharp. And the reason that I like to use a paper template is because that way I have the um, template. I can cut out a whole bunch of these if I wanted to. I could do it in the foam core or I could do it in wood. And then I'm going to show you a different way to do it. With the stick because I actually tried to cut the stick out um, using this method and because this stick is so small I had a heck of a time. So now I'm just going around here and cleaning up the edges. Now the reason that I'm doing this is because I want to uh, make this kind of a 2D piece of um, wall art and then they're going to be reusable so when I take it off the board I can save them until next time I want to use them. Let's get all this cleaned up. Actually I could probably use that for another marshmallow. Gotta save it where we can, right? Okay, so that is done. Now I'm going to, so that is the s'more, this is the chocolate bar, that's a marshmallow, and I wanted another marshmallow, but I think what I might do, you guys, this is a really long process. <laughs> This is long. We are not going to be done in 20 minutes tonight. Okay, so I've got my paste colors here. I've got poppy, white, iced coffee, and bark. So I'm going to do the marshmallows in white. And I'm going to put this transfer right on the foam core. So this is another way to do this. You want to make sure you fuzz it really well. Oh, thanks, Sam. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Facebook, Lysandra. It's uh, pretty crazy. I can't even launch my app manager on my phone. It's completely messed up. Okay, so that is on there. I'm going to use the white right across the silk screen. And I might as well do the other one that I already cut out. So there's that one. You want to make sure I get it the right, right way. So it is a lot easier to um, chalk on your your surface before you cut it out, but 
I don't know, I like doing it both ways depending on what the project is that I'm working on. Okay, so now we've got two marshmallows. I'm going to just quickly clean this. Now there is another set of marshmallows that's a double and I haven't decided if I want to do that one 2D or if I want to just have it flat. So we can always decide on that. Let's take this. Just going to put this back on here. That's clean. Don't have to worry about that. Okay, let's put the white away for now. See what I did today? I labeled all of my chalk paste and my ink. Just so it was easier for me to get to in my little storage container. Okay, so we're going to let this dry. Um, let's work on the chocolate. Get my fuzzing towel again. The only time that I would not use a fuzzing towel is if I was doing it on fabric. Then you want it to be super sticky. All right, I'm gonna line this up. I wanna get the good side. Oh. Maybe I can't because of the way it's cut. It should be fine though. Okay, so let's put that down. And I'm going to use bark for this. No, I didn't, Sam. I never made it to Costco but um, I still have one container. So hopefully I should be okay. This is a little bit on the thick side, so I'm putting some distilled water in here. And I'm using our fine mist sprayer, which is an amazing tool. This is really thick. I haven't used bark in so long. I almost wonder if I should do black mixed with it. No, that'll make it too dark. That's okay, I'm just talking out loud. Don't mind me. All right, that looks good. You want it to be a yogurt sour cream consistency. That looks really good. Actually looks like melted chocolate. All right, a little bit more. Make sure you get it all across the silk screen. Okay, let's lift that up. It's always fun taking it off when your little piece that you're cutting or you're chalking on is small. Let's wipe that. I think there's only one piece of chocolate. Okay, we'll get that cleaned up. So have you guys been working on any crafts? How's your little one doing, Sam? Where is that? Do 
must be getting big. Okay, that one is done. Now the graham cracker. We want to do it. Uh, I think I'm going to use a little bit of bark and a little bit of iced coffee to do the graham cracker and maybe mix that up. Hey, Paul. Hey, Carrie. Oh, I bet, Sam. I bet. That's hard, especially when they're getting a little bit older. Okay, so let's get a little dish here. Oh, I have one right here. These are our wonderful little color trays where you can mix up color. I don't know what I did with all my stir sticks. We'll give this a good mix. So I'm still trying to decide what I'm going to do next week because it's my chalk anniversary next Wednesday. I know it's not the greatest day to have uh, anything big planned, but what can you do? You can't change the date. Where did my lid? So I'm going to plan something for that day. We'll be doing some, maybe some giveaways. Um, I'll probably only be able to do it in the VIP group. Uh, so if you're not a member of the VIP group and you'd like to get in on it, then comment hashtag VIP and I'll make sure that I get you that link. It should be a fun night. I might come on a little bit earlier just to be able to do some fun stuff. I think that needs more brown. It's been a while since I've had graham crackers, so I can't really even remember what, what color they are. That looks not too bad. Oh, you know what? curry. That might be a good color to add. Just thought of that. We'll just add a little bit of curry. Because they are more yellow, right? That's better. Perfect. See, if I didn't have labels on my chalk paste, I would not have been able to get it that fast. I like that I got some stuff accomplished today. All right. You guys are so quiet tonight. The anticipation is killing you, isn't it? Ooh, we're gonna line this up. And get another squeegee. I'm gonna go through a lot of squeegees. And get that on there. Actually, this is a really good color. I'm impressed. I think it looks like a graham cracker. What do you guys think? So we've got the chalk anniversary next Wednesday, and then on the 16th, I believe it's a Saturday, um, there is a chalkathon happening 
and quite a few designers and designer services, so head office, are going to be chalking. Now they're starting at 10 mountain time, going till five mountain time, which I think is probably like seven in the morning. Um, I'm gonna be participating, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not getting up at 6.30 to be ready to chalk at seven. So I'll probably start, um, I'm thinking around 9.30, 10 Pacific Standard Time. And I'll go until um, they stop at, what's it gonna be, three, two or three o'clock. So probably nine till whatever the right time is that they end it. Which will be kind of cool. There'll be a lot of designers chalking and I'll be auctioning off stuff, uh, finished projects, and I will be chalking during the day. And whatever finished products, projects that I sell, whatever the bid is, will go directly to Watts of Love. So I'm not gonna get anything for it. Everything is gonna go to Watts of Love. And the challenge is still on. If I raise $5,000, I will shave my head. Yep, I said it out loud. But it's such a great um, organization to be partnered with that I will do it. Okay, let's just put this back. It's so much easier when you clean up as you go than when you're finished at the end of the project. It's just a little bit of stuff that you have to do. Okay, I don't need this color again, I don't think. So I'm gonna put that right in my water. Uh, we're gonna let this dry, and while that's drying, I'm gonna cut out um, the other marshmallow, and I'm just gonna use scissors. Now, it's a little bit trickier to do this with scissors. But if you don't have an X-Acto knife, this is the way to do it. Just a few more cuts that you have to make to kind of round those corners. Now, if you have access to uh, woodworking tools like a scroll saw, you could totally um, do this on a scroll saw. Now, I was going to do that, but I like to show um, that there are other ways for you to do something rather than just having, you know, using tools that not everybody has access to. Um, I still need the bark, so I'm just going to cover that for a second. We're going to put on the marshmallow layer here, and that's going to be white. It's still a little bit wet let me just read this oh yeah oh don't you hate that sam when you have to oh yeah filing cabinets and me are not friends definitely not um, yes, anybody can watch the Chalkathon. Um, I'll be live on my business page. So it's not going to be in the VIP group. It's going to be open to the public. Um, if you search hashtag Chalkathon, you'll be, I think that everybody's going to be using that same um, hashtag or what's a love. You'll be able to see um, other people that are doing it as well. So yeah, it's gonna be open to everybody. Just gonna dry this quickly. Oh my God, the lighting in here is horrible. Whoa, I look pale.
Okay, so now we're going to put the marshmallow on here. That is the next layer. And it does have numbers on here. So it says number two. Um, this is number one. And then the chocolate dripping is number three. So it takes the guesswork out. I'm just going to line it up. right there and use the white and I have the white here now if you were doing this right on the board um, there is registration marks on the transfers so it shows you where you need to line it up There we go. We get that cleaned. All right. Put that aside. I'm going to throw that out because now that is done. I'm not going to get much more out of that wipe. Okay, so now this needs to dry. What else have we got? Oh, I have to do the stick. And I think I'm going to do this in brown and a bit of black. in the glue gun because we're going to need that so I might as well plug that in now and we'll get another glue stick out okay and my board going to cut. Actually, let's use this. Better make sure that I got a long enough. Yep, that's perfect. Put that aside. And we will get this fuzzed. Should be good. Now we're going to lay this right down onto the foam core and I'm going to use black and brown. Maybe I'll use some iced coffee too just to give it a good little mix. Give it a marbled effect. No rhyme or reason to where I am putting this stuff. It's kind of like a camouflage. And some black. So this is actually called a hot mess technique. You just throw everything down and then you just wipe through it. I don't know what's going on with all my squeegees. So you see, I'm just wiping it through. I'm not even um, marbling it or anything. Just right through it. I want to make sure that it's not too black because if it's too black, then you won't really be able to see it. So let's add just 
a touch more of that. There we go. That is good. And I'm going to throw that in there right away. Put that aside. And we're going to peel this. Perfect. We'll get this washed off. Oh, Sam, that is um, a sign that I made, and I have it in. Um, I have it in gray with teal writing, and it's got the little clothespins to hang um, pictures. And then I have it in the natural as well, and I just need to glue on the glows, the clothes pegs. Cute little sign. And that's actually a retired transfer. So you're not able to get that transfer anymore. So I am selling the finished products. All right, get that cleaned. We're only going to do one um, stick for this one. Yeah, isn't that cute? I love it. I was thinking of making one for my mom and dad um, for Mother's Day for my mom, but. I think we're up to, oh my God, I don't even know, 16, 18, 16 grandchildren and great-grandchildren. So it wouldn't really fit on there. I made them a different sign that has um, all the birthdays hanging down under each month, which they love. And that reminds me, I'm behind. I have to make three more because there was three more babies born in the last year. So I have to update that sign. Oh, you know, it's finding time to do this. Okay, that one is done. I need a sip of water, you guys. Drinking sparkling water today. Wanted a change. We can't actually drink our water here, which is really, really horrible. Every year, usually March, so it was a little bit later this year, but uh, we're at boil water advisory and it's on high now, which is really bad. So our water is like murky brown. It's, it's really gross. Like you do not want to drink that at all. Even when you boil it, it's still brown. It's just, oh. It was one thing I didn't know about the area when we moved here. Had I known, I probably would have thought twice because I love water. I really do. Okay, this is almost done. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. I just thought about it. It's going onto a black chalkboard surface. So I'm hoping. This is exactly where it split in half the last time I tried to do this. So maybe I should switch to the scissors. So I don't want to wreck it. Since I'm just about there. Yeah, it's weird. It's like right there, the same spot. And I ended up splitting it in half. Come on. It 
it's only because I want to do the stick in 2D, right? Like, I could just put the stick on the board, but... No, I'm going to be difficult. I like doing things the hard way. Okay, so we got that. Let's get rid of all this garbage. Those are too small to do anything with. All right. Let's see if there's any questions. Okay, so we've got the stick. We've got our marshmallows. We got, is the glue, the glue gun is heating up. Magnets, that's what I need. I need my magnets. And I also have magnet tape. Because... Because... We just want a small piece. Bear with me. We want a small piece for... The stick. And I know that I had a roll of it. And do you think I can remember where I put it? Hmm. All right, well, we're going to have to use double sided tape then for that for now just because I don't want to take any more time looking for that. Okay, so, oh, we still have chocolate. This is dry now. So we're gonna put the dripping chocolate on. And then those will be ready to get their magnets put on. Okay. So let's get the chocolate on. So we're using bark. And just right across there. Gooey gooey chocolate. That is done. I'm trying to think the wording on um, the board. I'm thinking white, white and red, white and red. Maybe some iced coffee too. We'll see. We'll see how it looks. <gasps> Isn't that cute? You guys, that's adorable. That is so cute. It actually looks like a s'more. Adorable. All right. That is all cleaned. Now we're going to put all these templates aside. We are going to glue onto the backs our magnets. Seriously? I can get them apart. What the heck? It 
It's like there's glue on them or something. These are strong magnets. That is not coming apart. Okay, let's go for another one. What is going on? Okay, I know I'm weak, but seriously? That's crazy. Okay, let's get some glue on here. This is not very hot. And these magnets are quite thick. <laughs> Got glue everywhere. And one more. And they're really strong magnets, so you only need to put one on each piece. Okay, let's turn that off. And we'll just put these over here because we need to bring out the big board. Let's just wipe this off. Make sure that the surface is really clean. Okay, we are, we're good. We are good. Here is our big board. Move that. See, I would not have been able to show the whole thing and even now it's still some of it is not in frame. Um, I just need to get my paste scraper. It's a really, really big board. Okay, so I'm just spraying um, some distilled water. Now you could use regular water. I don't know why my Not enough water in there, I guess. So I'm just going to move the water around. And get it all in this chalked area. I'm just trying to soften the chalk up a little bit. Perfect. Now I'm going to just use the scraper, this is our paste scraper, it is fabulous. I don't know what I did before they came out with this thing, but it just makes life so much easier. You guys can't even see that. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Just scraping over the chalk paste. And it just comes right off. Now I've got this pile of chalk paste. And I'm just going to use my paper towel. Now, before I would have used so much paper towel and gone through so much of my board eraser. Just crazy. This is just amazing. Everybody needs a, a paste scraper. 
I swear it is the best. And just like that, my board is clean. Like nothing was even on there. I'm going to use my um, microfiber side of my fuzzing towel and just go over this. Get it nice and clean. And I still need this, so I'm going to put that there because we need to fuzz our transfer. So this is a large transfer. I'm going to flip it upside down and peel the backing sheet off um, the transfer rather than peeling the transfer off the backing sheet because it is so big. And I hope that did not just stick to itself. There we go. Okay, I'm going to take fuzzing towel and just fuzz this really well. Hey Glenn, how's life upstairs? <laughs> You're funny. You are a funny guy. Okay. So now we're going to flip this and you can see that I cut out um, a lot of the transfer just because I wanted to do those pieces. So now it's just lining it up, making sure that it's straight. Okay, I think that looks straight. So the Love You, I'm gonna flip this around because it's so big you guys can't even really see what I'm doing. So if I do it this way, then you can see. So I'm gonna do the Love You in red and peel back. And then s'more, uh, s'more, we'll do in, what color should we do s'more? I can do the love you, because I need to peel it back anyways. What color should we do s'more? What do you guys think? Should I do it in iced coffee and bark? What's your thoughts? Light brown? Okay, that's what I'm thinking too. So we're just peeling this back and I'm going to blow dry it and I'm using the cool setting on my blow dryer because it's so close to the transfer you don't want to use heat. So just a cool setting. this back down and then we'll do s'more. Let's mix up the iced coffee with a little bit of the bark. I think that'll be good. We don't need to put the curry in this time. Um, let 
And will I need it? Hmm. Just trying to decide how much I'm going to need. Because we've got layer, roast, and enjoy. I wonder. I guess this is one of the things that maybe I should think about before when I'm planning out my project. But you guys know me, I like to wing it. I like to wing it. Okay, I hope I have enough here. That's a big area. That is a large area to cover. Just a little bit more. And then it's a nice light, a light brown. That's better. Now a little does go a long way, but sometimes you just, it's better to have more of the color that you need than not enough. Am I right? Because then once you use it all, it's hard to match that color again. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, I think we got enough. I think we might just have enough. Oh my goodness, you guys. How lucky is that? Actually a little bit left to scrape back into the tray. Wow. Let's peel this off. It's going to look awesome. Okay, now I have to hold this up because if I put it down, I'm going to end up with chalk paste everywhere. So just bear with me. It's a perfect color. I wonder if I should do... I'm just thinking out loud here. One second. I'm thinking that maybe I'll do um, I'll do roast in in bark, layer in iced coffee, and enjoy in red so we're starting with red and ending with red and then all of the words are going to be white what do you guys think hey karen what do you guys think i think that's what we should do That is what we should do. Because when you're roasting it, you're kind of toasting it, right? So why not do that? Now I have to work quickly because oh, 
squeegee stuck underneath because we've got to lift, we've got to peel and go down to the next. This is going to look adorable. I love it. I'm going to peel that up. Just about there. Well, somebody didn't get the memo. I am live, you guys. Okay, so we're going to peel that before it dries too much. And I'm going to just hit it with the blow dryer. It looks really good. Oh my god, I'm so sorry you guys. I don't know. Hey Glenn? Oh, just because I'm so stressed out about my text messages, like, come on, Glenn, you must have gone in the shower. Okay, so now I'm going to flip it around again. is a large board and now we're gonna do layer in iced coffee so we'll get iced coffee open and I'm gonna do enjoy So this is a little bit lighter than what we did s'more in. Okay, we got that done. And now we're gonna do enjoy in red. Come on. Oh my goodness. I'm just a hot mess today. Okay. You want to make sure that you don't go into the other words that you're doing in a different color. Because that wouldn't be good. And white. And then we can pull this transfer. That's just putting the rest of the stuff on. Let's close that up. And this one. And then I'm going to actually put this in a water bath so that it doesn't dry while we're working on the rest. Wow. Okay, get in there. There we go. We got that in the water. I have made quite the mess. Okay, so here it is finished. Um, I'm still not really, I'm not really happy with my stick, so I might do a new one, but 
the rest of this stuff. Oh my goodness, this looks awesome. A little bit of white there. That looks awesome, you guys. Now I can put a marshmallow there or I can put another marshmallow here. I kind of like having two at the top. This is so cute. Okay, let's see if we can, if I hold it here, if you guys can see it. It doesn't even do it justice on the camera right now. It really doesn't. I'm gonna turn it a little bit sideways. Maybe you can see the effect here. It's so adorable. Hey, Tasha. I know. I haven't seen you in forever. I hope you're doing well. Like, isn't this just the cutest thing ever? I love it. Right, Anita? Now, now you really want the transfer. Like, there is so much you can do with this. Even without the stick. Like, eventually I'll put the stick, I don't know, I'll put it maybe here or down at the bottom. Maybe at the bottom, I don't know. Yeah, Lysandra, I love it. Oh, this would be the perfect, perfect project for camp. It totally would. Yeah, it's so worth the wait, I know. Sam, I have to tell you, I could have gone on this morning and done this project. I was so excited to do it, but I didn't want to confuse anybody because normally I go live at seven o'clock on Wednesdays. So I didn't want to confuse anybody and do it early. But yeah, this, this was so worth it. I love it so much. This needs to go outside by our um, fire pit. And we can have s'mores out there. I love it. I just, I might have to, this might be one of the, on May 16th, one of the Chalkathon give, uh, yeah. I might have to put this up for auction. I just might. I love it so much. Yeah, maybe at the bottom, Anita. But I think I need to do a new one because this one is at the same spot. It broke again. So I'll do a new one and put it at the bottom. And maybe I'll do it in, I'll do it in a tan color instead of trying to mix the colors. I think that'll look good. I flippin' love how this turned out, you guys. So awesome. All right, that is it for me tonight. I will probably be back tomorrow afternoon sometime. And then again, my regular, um, time slot, I guess it is, on Friday night at 7. So thanks so much for hanging out with me tonight. That was the that was one of the longer ones that I've done in a long time. But it was awesome. It was worth it. And you guys stuck it out. So thank you. All right, I'll talk with you again later. Bye for now.